Hey guys, so today I'm going to be installing uh, vCenter server on uh, on my uh, host and I wanted to share with you how to uh, do it. This is vCenter uh, uh, 8. So the first thing you want to do is download the vCenter from the VMware portal. I'm not going to log in and show you how, but it's just a straightforward download if you have the license. And then basically map the drive. So I have it here under downloads and I just mount it and I come, come here. So this is the installer. I'm gonna be installing it using my Windows server. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use Windows server to install it. This is the installer. I'm just gonna right click it and say run it as administrator. So we come to this uh, screen and if you're doing anything other than installing a new vCenter server, this uh, video is only focusing on the new installation. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to say next. Accept the terms of, of the license. Now it wants your ESXi host. In my case, my ESXi host is this one. And the credentials to access this host. And this is just a generic certificate error. You just click next. Now here, what do you want to call this uh, VM? So I'm just going to call it vCenter. And I'm going to give it a root password. vCenter, yeah, okay. Now we come to the size. Usually we would go with tiny for small environments. If you are with three or four ESXi hosts, you would consider uh, larger than tiny. But in this lab, we're going with this, just the, the, uh, the, the default. Click next. Now uh, you want to choose where you want to install this one. I'm going to install it on my volume zero one. And I'm going to also enable thin mode to, to, uh, to uh, this hard drive and I'm going to say next. Now this is your network. I'm going to choose my network, which is VM network. I'm going to choose an IPv4. I'm going to choose a static IP address. Now, if you want to give it a FQDN, a fully qualified domain name, for example, I'm going to give it vcenter.mydomain, which is mazurelabs.com. You would need to go to DNS and create one record for it. So I created an A record that points to this IP address that I'm going to give it to it. If you do not, the installation would fail. So you can basically uh, leave this empty if you do not play, plan to do it. Subnet mask and the gateway. DNS servers. And next, and it's ready to start deploying. So I'm going to say finish. Now this is going to take a some time. I'm going to pause. There will be two stages. This is stage one. I'll pause and come back when stage one is done, so we can go through stage two together. Now in the meantime, while we're waiting, please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Okay, so stage one is completed. As you can see, I got the successfully deployed message, and I'm going to hit continue. And now we go into stage two, which completes the installation. We click next. If you want to synchronize your uh, vCenter server with the ESX host, host or with an NTP server, you can. I'm just going to go with the host. Uh, SSH, usually we keep deactivated unless we need it. So I'm just going to keep it deactivated. You can always activate it later on. Now here, usually, this is the single sign-on domain. Usually, people use this default, vSphere.local. You can, you can use anything you want. This is not your active directory domain. This is the uh, local domain. And a password. You can uh, type in whatever password you want. And we click Next. If you want to join, you can. I'm not going to. We click Next. And finish. And now basically, 
instead on you you can't stop you can't pause once you start the, the installation it'll have to uh take its time and finish and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to click ok and here i'm going to pause and just come back when it's done to show you what happened okay as you can see stage now is uh stage two now is complete and now if we basically click on this link or we go to the ip it should open so let's give it a try and we simply now add the license and we add a, a host and that's it that's pretty much how you do it Please remember to subscribe and like this video for more content like this. Thank you and have a good day.